Action 13's Marvin Zindler tonight has a real dog of a story concerning the voter registration laws and how easily they can be skirted. Raises a question of just how many illegal votes may be cast next week. Well, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, and a lot of dogs would probably like to vote. In fact, one dog did have a valid voter's registration card, that is, until today. Mrs. R.P. Blackmire of Tomball has a beautiful 200-pound female mastiff named Minnie Rob. To demonstrate how easily fraudulent voter registration cards can be obtained, Mrs. Blackmire and her husband put their dog's name on a registration coupon, which they clipped out of a newspaper, and then had the dog make an X on it. The Blackmires mailed it in. Lo and behold, a few days later, back came a voter registration card in the name of Minnie Rob Blackmire. The dog was a registered voter. Mrs. Blackmire and I took Minnie Rob to see tax assessor collector Carl Smith, who was not at all amused, mainly because Mrs. Blackmire had also sent letters to both U.S. Senators from Texas, to the Federal Election Commission, and had notified me. Smith says it's a third-degree felony to falsify an application for a voter's registration, and he threatened to take the black mares before a grand jury for registering their dog. Is right. the person that signs it and the person that witnesses, are they both guilty? Well, now, I'm not, the, you know, I'm not the lawyer in the well, case. Know, I'm just uh, you the You wrote the law. You I'm said... Voter at, well, you I was... You wrote the I law. certainly helped in writing it because at that time... What penalty do you problem. think they're going to give the dog? Meanwhile, Minnie Rob, who hadn't said a word through all this, waited in the car, afraid she might be going to jail. Meantime, her voter registration card was canceled. Well, I learned from Carl Smith that the U.S. Supreme Court is responsible for making it so easy to register to vote. My old friend Carl was a little upset with me over this, but Mrs. Blackmire did make her point. Easy voter registration makes it easy to stuff the ballot box. And as for Minnie Rob, I'm not so sure who she would have voted for, but her vote would have been just as intelligent as a lot of legally registered voters. Marvin Zindler, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Marvin. You know, after being chased around by guys like me and Joe Green every Sunday, it's really hard to get started in the morning. Take it from a pro. Wake up with Stevenson Pruitt, 790 KULF Radio. Good morning, Slick. Had a good sleep last night. Everybody have a cup of coffee. Or have a prune Danish. Chuck Schramm at KULF News. Top story this morning's in sports. Anita Martini will have the tale. Wake up, Houston, with Stevenson Pruitt at 790 KULF. At Weingarten, our meat is a cut above. It's top graded, fresh and good. So good it's fully guaranteed or your money back. So when you see the dot, you're going to save a lot. Stock up on Red Dot Meat Specials. Holly Farms Grade A Fryer Leg Quarters, just 87 cents a pound. All-purpose light crust flour, five-pound bag, 69 cents. And U.S. Choice Heavy Beef Round Steak, only 179 a pound. Meats from Weingarten, a cut above. Guaranteed. 